Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So people in developed countries spend on average between nine and 10 hours of their day sitting down, whether that's time spent in front of a computer, stuck in traffic, or just unwinding at the end of the day in front of the television, our lives have become more and more sedentary. This is concerning because prolonged time spent sitting down is now linked to a number of health issues, including obesity, heart disease, and certain types of cancer. These health issues can also contribute to an earlier death. But a new study has found that people over the age of 50 getting just 22 minutes of exercise a day can reduce this risk of premature death. And there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. The team who conducted this study combined data from two studies from Norway, one from Sweden and one from the United States. The studies included about 12,000 people age 50 or older who wore wearable devices to track how active or how inactive they were during their daily routines. Participants were followed for at least two years and the medium was 5.2 years. The study took place between 2003 and 2020. The analysis took several lifestyle factors and health factors into account, such as education levels, alcohol intake, smoking status, and previous history of heart disease, cancer, and also diabetes. All this data was then linked to the national death registries. Sadly, 805 participants died during the follow-up period. The researchers found that people who were sedentary for more than 12 hours a day had a heightened risk of death a 38% higher risk than those people who were sedentary for only eight hours a day. However, this was only observed in those who did less than 22 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity every day. So for people who did more than 22 minutes of exercise, there was no longer a significantly heightened risk of death. So the risk became generally similar to those who were sedentary for just eight hours a day. Higher daily duration of physical activity was consistently associated with a lower risk of death. And this was regardless of the total sedentary time. For example, the team reported an additional 10 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity every day could lower the mortality risk by up to 15% for those who were sedentary for less than 10 and a half hours a day. For those considered highly sedentary, so 10 and a half hours a day or more, an additional 10 minutes could lower their mortality risk by up to 35%. These studies obviously have their limitations. The teams could not assess how changes in physical activity or sedentary time over several months or years may affect their risk of death. And the study only included participants who were age 50 and above. This makes the results less applicable to those in younger age groups. Further, cultural and lifestyle differences between countries may have influenced how the data between the studies was measured and also how it was analyzed. Ultimately, because this study was observational, we can't draw any firm conclusions on cause and effect with any certainty whatsoever. But the results of this research align with a growing body of evidence that explores the relationship between physical activity, sedentary time, and also death. Previous research has implied that physical activity may offset the risks associated with high sedentary time. The good news is that even short bouts of exercise can have positive effects. In this study, the 22 minutes wasn't necessarily all done at the same time. It was the total physical activity that someone did in a day. And this includes incidental exercise, things like climbing the stairs. Several studies using wearable devices have also found that short bursts of high intensity exercise every day, doing activities such as climbing the stairs or even energetic outdoor home maintenance activities, such as mowing the lawn or even just cleaning the windows can lower mortality, heart disease, and even cancer risk. A recent study also using wearable devices found that moderate to vigorous bouts of activity lasting somewhere between three and five minutes provided similar benefits to bouts of exercise that lasted longer than 10 minutes when it came to stroke and heart attack risk. Several other studies have also found that being active just on the weekends provides similar health benefits to those people who are active all the way throughout the week. 
Research has also shown the benefits of physical activity and reducing sedentary time when it comes to cognitive health. Some types of employment, such as desk jobs, taxi drivers, etc., can obviously foster a sedentary lifestyle that some people might find difficult to shift. But mixing short bursts of activity into your day can make a significant difference towards improving your health, your lifespan, and more importantly, your health span. Whether it is a brisk walk during lunch, taking the stairs if you only want to go up or down two floors, or even the odd at-home workout, this study is now another that does suggest every minute does actually count. Let me know in the comments below, what did you do today to improve your health, your lifespan, but more importantly, your health span?